Chance, what it is and what it ain't. It's your boy Liquid Cash, aka Money Mitch. You are now watching School of Hard Knocks. I'm just trying to get it like you got it, you dig? Liquid Cash. This episode is gonna be a real, a real interesting one. It's gonna be a very important one too because I need y'all to understand this watch this over and over and if you master these four principles that I'm about to discuss in this particular episode you will never be broke again you will never have a money problem you will never have money issues you will always be in a good financial space if you master these four principles it's so funny, I learned these four principles by learning how to play craps, learning how to gamble. You know what I mean? Shout out to Garrison. You know what I mean? He's a craps teacher that that I, uh, I used to go to to learn how to play craps. And uh, while I was learning how to play craps, he spoke, he spoke about four principles that I realized that I was utilizing in my life. And and I was like, and everything started to make sense on why, you know, it was a shift in my financial situation because I applied these four principles. And just like it worked for me, it could work for you. If you know these principles and you study these principles and you master these principles, man, shh, your money problems will be solved. You know what I mean? But we're gonna start off like this. The first principle, is you have to have a bankroll. You have to have a stash. You have to have some savings. Now, I don't care what type of job you have. I don't care what level of uh, uh, level you at in your life. You could be working at the Dollar Tree. You could be working at McDonald's. You could be a hustler. You could be, uh, uh, you know, a receptionist. At whatever point at you, where you at in your life. You have to be able to find a way to save some type of money. You know what I mean? Whether it's 10% of your earnings or it's 20% or 30%. You have to be able to save some of your money. Save your money so your money one day will save you. I don't care what nobody tell you. Ain't no businesses or no establishments or, 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 or. nothing is started without capital. You need money to start anything. You know what I mean? People that talk about, oh, you can start a business with no, with little or no money, it's all bullshit. You know what I mean? Don't believe none of it. It's all bullshit. Do me a favor, go on this, uh, go in the uh, second lane, please, the lane over, when you get an opportunity. I apologize, you know, I'm just talking to my driver. But, uh, like I said, people that say, you know, you can start businesses without any money, Man, it's all bullshit, you know what I mean? You need money to make money. Point blank, period. So I don't care what level you at in your life, you have to be able to stack some paper, secure a, 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 a bankroll, man. You know what I mean? Whether you save it in the bank or you save it in your shoebox, whether it's 10% or it's 50% of your earnings, you gotta save something. Because whatever you're doing right now may not be what you wanna do. So save a little bit of your paper so you could be able to invest in yourself to do what you really want to do. So that's number one. You gotta have a bankroll, a stash, a savings. You dig? Number two, it's important too. This is a very important one. You gotta have knowledge of the game. You have to have knowledge of the game. Whatever field you in, like I said again, it don't matter. This applies to anybody. You could be in the corporate world or you could be in the street world. This applies to anybody. You have to have knowledge of which you're into. Whatever game you're playing, you have to obtain the most information that you can about that field. You know what I mean? Whatever, whatever you're doing, study what you're doing. Learn how to master it. And when you learn how to master it, 
you'll you, you'll save yourself a lot of time and headache. Because once you know how to master something that you love or something that you're into, you could be able to capitalize off of it in, in every way. You know what I mean? And like I said, it don't have to be something that you love doing. You could be at a job that you hate, a job you don't like going to, but you need to learn every aspect of that job in order to be a better employee. And once you learn how to be a better employee, you would eventually start to earn more money because you would be you would, you would have some value to that business. You would add value to that business. So if you have a dream that you're trying to pursue, before you uh, uh, jump and take the leap of faith, learn everything that you can about that business or that field that you're trying to get into. Everything. Have to have knowledge of the game. That's number two. Number three, very important. A lot of you motherfuckers, <laughs> excuse my language, but I just gotta give it to you like this, man. This is the this this one right here got everybody where they where, where they don't want to be. You know what I mean? Where they don't want to be. You don't you do you you're not in the place you want to be at because of this rule that you cannot. Uh, master people have a problem trying to master this particular rule but once you understand this principle and you learn this principle and you master this principle you'll be in a good space number three is money management you gotta have good money management skills you know that's just what it is I just money management man you know what I mean that's just listen man I know you get you get you a few dollars. You want to buy the new sneakers. You want to buy the new Jordans. You know, you want to buy the new uh, whatever. You know, you just find all these things you want to buy. And you work so hard for it, you feel like your ego tells you you deserve it. You know, treat yourself. Don't cheat yourself. And that costs you to spend more money than you possibly need to. And that could be a problem. You gotta learn money management. You know what I mean? Sometimes we spend more than we need to. I got friends that spend more than they need to. You know, they spend more than they make. And I try to educate my friends on, you know, save a little bit and spend and still have fun. But you gotta save for rainy days. Because it's not about how good you're doing, it's how long you're doing good. Cause I'm not gonna be one of those niggas that used to be popping back in the days, that used to had it, that used to drive the big foreign, that used to have the nice house. That's not gonna be me at 55 or 60. I'm gonna still have it. I'm gonna be at a level in my life where I still have all the things that I have now, and I'm gonna have even more because I'm setting my 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 my, my life up that way. I'm setting my my game up that way. I don't care about having uh, the best car or, 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 the, or the flyest clothes. Or do I do got the best car or the flyest clothes? <laughs> you know what I mean? But I save more than I spent. You might see a nigga dipped and drip, Louis this, Gucci that, you know, big body bands, I8s. But I save more than I spent. The one thing about me is that I got more money. In my, in, my, in my bank account that I have in assets. That's why my name is Liquid Cash. You got a lot of lot of dudes out here that got fly whips, nice clothes, but they don't have no liquid cash. You know what I'm saying? If they, if they get faced with a trauma or faced with an obstacle and they need money real quick, they won't be able to go grab that 50,000 or 100,000 to make something happen because they spend it all trying to look rich. And you don't want to fall for that. You don't want to keep up with the Joneses to try to look rich. That shit is not cool. You know what I mean? People that do that type of shit, you know, that's their game. That's their, that's their hustle. But I advise you, all of my young entrepreneurs and everybody that's out here doing their thing, man, listen, man, stack your paper and have good money management because, like I said, save your money, one day your money will save you, you know? So, 
I always advise, I advise everybody, man, don't try to keep up with the Joneses, man. Stay in your lane, run your race, and do what you can. Make a left right here, please. Whenever you get a chance, make a U-turn, make a left over there by the park, by the, uh, by the lake. You know, I like to go by the lake sometime and just, just unwind and just clear my mind and just watch the, you know, the ripples on the water and just, you know, vibe, meditate, and, you know, think about my next move, my master plan. But yeah, you gotta have good money management, man. Money management is very important. That's the number three principle on this list. But last but not least, last but not least, and let me tell you something that's very important too. You can't have one of these principles, you can't have two of these principles, and you can't have three. You have to have all four in order to really reach the level of success that I'm talking about and the level of success that you may want to reach. You got to have all four of these principles. Number four, last but not least, you got to have discipline. Discipline is so important, man. Go around here and uh, park, park to the, uh, go this way and park to the left. You got to have discipline, man. Discipline is very important. You know, oh man, discipline is like, that's what keeps everybody uh, 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 financially in trouble, you know? You can pull up right up right over here, you know what I mean? Appreciate that. That's what have everybody in financial trouble because they don't got discipline. The reason you don't have money management skills is because you don't got discipline. The reason why you can't stack a, back, a bankroll is because you don't got discipline. The reason why... You don't learn. You haven't learned the knowledge of the game and the field that you're in, because you haven't mastered discipline. You know, discipline is very important. You know, I struggle with discipline every day, because it's not easy. It's a, it's, 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 if it was easy, everybody would be doing it. Everybody would be rich. Everybody would be successful. But everybody's not successful. Everybody's not driving foreign cars. Every, not, everybody's not wearing jewelry. Everybody's not wearing the most expensive clothes. Everybody is not doing it for a reason because this shit is hard. This shit is not easy. I'm a fucking testament of it. You dig what I'm saying? So anybody that I see doing good, living good, I salute y'all because I know it took hard work. It took dedication. It took a lot of work. So anybody that's doing good and living their dreams and, and, and driving the car they want, wearing the clothes they want and doing what they want, I salute y'all because I know it's hard work because I put in the work. You know what I mean? I put in the work and I work damn hard. So that's the thing that you need, man. You need discipline. And I struggle with it every day because you got you got so much distraction in the world. You got so many things to keep us off course. So many things that just, 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 just to get in our way and cause us to trip up. You know what I mean? But you got to have the discipline, man. You got to. You gotta have the discipline. You gotta add this in your arsenal. Add it to your character. Make it a part of your character. Make it a part of who you are. You dig what I'm saying? A lot of people are stuck in, you know, who they are. They think who they are is what they is is is, is, is that's it. Like you can't add new things to your personality. You can add new characteristics to your personality. In order to get something that you have never have, you gotta be someone that you never was. Let me repeat that shit in case you were listening too slow. In order to get something that you have never have, you have to be someone that you never was. You dig what I'm saying? Meditate on that for a second and try to understand and overstand that. You dig what I'm saying? And once you do that, you really get a clear uh, 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 grasp on what I'm trying to say. It's all about personal development. It's all about, per you have to work harder on yourself than you do at your nine to five, than you do at your job, than you do at your hustle. You have to work harder on yourself. Personal development, man. You know what I mean? Everybody want to be rich, but nobody want to put in the work. Nobody want to work on themselves. They want to just stay who they are. They want to, you know, they want to party and bullshit. They want to, uh, uh, they want to act like, you know, uh, they're doing something and being productive, but they're really not. Because really 20% of what you do makes you rich or, 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 or makes you a, or, 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 or makes 20% of what you do makes you money. 
the, the, the rest of the 80% is just, you know, frivolous time wasted on meaningless things. And you don't want to be that, man. You want to really put 80% of what you do into your job, into your craft, and the rest of the 20% into having fun and enjoying, you know, your hard work uh, and the fruits of your labor. You dig what I'm saying? So you got to have discipline, man. Discipline is important. You learn these four principles, and I guarantee you, no joke, no motherfucking gimmick, you will never have a money problem again in your life. You have to learn these principles. I'm, am I, am I, am I, am I, am I a motherfucking uh, expert at these principles? No. I'm studying every day to be a better person and to learn and, and to master these principles because I know they're very vital to the title. They're very important. You know what I mean? And I, and, and I'm doing, I'm doing my best to, 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 to master these principles, you know? So every day is a pro, every day is another step. You know, of being greater and of being a, a better individual and mastering these principles and really reaching the ultimate goal. You know what I mean? The ultimate goal. So I advise everybody, man, learn these four principles and you will never be broke again. Never be broke again. You wouldn't have no money problems. You wouldn't have no issues, man. You will never be broke again, man. And these principles I share with everybody. And I want you to share this video with your friends. Sit down with people you care about. Share it with them because they need to hear these things. You know, sometimes people hear information, they hear good information, and they keep it to themselves. Share the information, man. Don't be selfish and try to keep the game to yourself. You know what I mean? Because no game is free. You know what I mean? It's going to cost you time, effort, in order to apply this game. This game ain't free. It's gonna cost you just to apply it. Now you can hear it and go through one air and you might not even apply it. And that's just gonna be your life. You're gonna be whoever you wanna be. You like you might be the bum. You might like being content. You know what I mean? There's some people who like being working a nine to five and not chasing their dreams because it takes a lot of work. And you know, if you're not one of those people that that like a nine to five and, and like being mediocre, then you need to listen to these principles and apply these principles to your life. And I'm telling you right now, man, it will change your life. I'm a living testament of it. These are the principles that I apply to my life. You know what I mean? And like I said, I learned this principle uh, 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 through, uh, you know, just gambling. I was gambling and I was like, man, and these principles, you know, my, my, my gambling teacher spoke of these principles and I was like, wow, and these principles all through my life. Now he broke it down in formats that I could I could really understand it and overstand it. And I was like, man, so every so 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 I'm the type of person that like when I learn something and and, and, and I, I've acquired some knowledge, I like to share it. I like to express it and, and, and let the people know. Uh, what I know and hopefully it could help somebody along the way. Are you gonna listen to me? Probably not. Are you gonna apply these principles? Probably not. But do me a favor. Just share it with somebody else. You know what I mean? Share this video with somebody else because maybe somebody else might apply it. So like I said again, you're watching the School of Hard Knocks. It's liquid cash. I need it all out the stash aka Money Mitch. Hide you. But anyway, like, comment, and subscribe. If you got any knowledge from this video if you acquired any type of information that you may use in your daily life do me a favor man comment below let me know how you feel about the video your opinion about the video and if you have a topic you would like me to discuss comment below let me know i'll try to get to it my instagram is l-i-k-q-u-i-d-c-a-s-h liquid cash also log on to my website www liquid cash l-i-k-q-u-i-d-c-a-s-h cop some of my merch man that cash create a steady hustle merchandise you heard y'all already know what it is man it's boss life cash is king thing cheers